Hello YouTube, Lee Fox here for Teammates. Today is just going to be a quick review on each of my decks. As you can see, I run 8 decks. It's not that many, but it gets me by. I do have extra cards, and I'm still working with decks. Um, every deck that I go over, um, with a quick review, there will be a link to the actual deck itself with the deck list and telling you what's in the deck and how it really works. So, let's begin. First we have my Exodia deck, which is Super Rejuvenation, so it runs dragons, and the main aspect of the deck is for just drawing continuously. It's supposed to get out Exodia one turn, there are no traps in the deck, just spells and monsters. And that's really it for that one. Moving on, we have my Final Countdown deck. Um, the main aspect of the deck is to win with Final Countdown. The whole purpose of the deck is to stall uh, my opponent as much as I can without losing too many life points. It's got a little bit of burn in there so I can actually do damage, but the main, uh, the main point of the deck is to win with Final Countdown. Moving on, we have my Archfiend deck. Archfiends are kind of hard to run because they revolve about um, life points every standby phase. Um, the whole point of the deck is just to gain as much life points as possible while trying to take out my opponent and if I know I'm gonna lose I do have a um, other option in this deck that won't make me lose so that's that deck moving on we have my paladin deck uh, the whole purpose of this deck is to get out dark paladin it runs warriors and spellcasters it makes sense because the Dark Paladin revolves around Dark Magician and Buster Blader. You know, the deck works uh, decent. It's not the best, but it works decent. And every card in this deck is holographic. There's not a single common or rare. It's uh, Ultra, um, Secret, and Super Hollow. So, that's that deck. Next, we have my Crystal Beast deck. Uh... The aspect of this deck is to bring out Rainbow Dragon and try to protect my life points as possible. It runs the God cards as well. The effect versions, Obelisk and Raw. And it, um, it it's actually my second best deck. I only have the deck because it's fun to use. Moving on, one of the most awkward decks is my Gamble deck. No, it's not Arcana Force, even though it runs Arcana Force the World. It's my Gamble deck. Every card except for one card um, is a coin flip or a dice roll. So, I hope you have luck on your side when you're versing this deck. There's not really much to say about it. It's just Gamble, so you got to take your chance. Moving on next, we have my Karibo deck. I made this deck because I love Karibo so much. I have an entire collection, which there should be a link also on uh, to my Karibo collection during this part um, the main part of this the main point of this deck is to get lights and darks in the graveyard to bring out the sky scourges and chaos sorcerer and it works really well actually it's my third best deck I think and then for my last deck my band deck uh, nothing really to say about this except it's just banned. Almost every card in this deck is banned. And this is my favorite banned card of all time, Dark Magician of Chaos, because it was given to me as a gift. But other than that, it's just banned. There's really nothing to say about it. Anyway, YouTube, those are all my decks right there. I'm still working on some. Um, I also might sell a couple. Just uh, leave a comment on, let me know if you want to buy the deck, um, and I will let you know. I am looking for ideas on how to make the deck better, and I do like, um, I'm working on and off on a tune deck. Sometimes I want to tune, sometimes I don't, I don't know yet. Anyway, that is my all my decks. Take care.